next step is to apply power to the inverter. When power is applied, the keypad will illuminate and the diagnostic will read a value. In this example, we will be setting the inverter up to use the basic speed application, which is application number one. To do this, we press the N key until the display shows F100. Next, we press the red button until only the FWD LED is illuminated. This will enable us to change the high level menu. In this case, we need to select parameter F228. Using the up arrows and down arrows, I can change the first digit until the two is selected. Next, press the red button again to illuminate the DGT LED. This will enable us to change the lower level menu. Again, using the up and down arrows, I can select parameter 228. Next, press the E key to enter the menu and select the application required. When your selection is made, press the E key again to save the setting. Next, we need to enter the motor parameters. Again, using the red button, press until the FWD LED only is illuminated to change the top level menu. The motor parameters are in top level menu 8. Once selected, press the red key again to enable the setting of the lower level menu. Parameter 801 is the first that we must set and is the rated power of our motor. When parameter 801 is selected, press the E key to change the value. In this case, our parameter is a 0.1 kilowatt motor. Press the E key again to save. Next, using the up arrow, select parameter 802 then press the E key to change the motor voltage, in this case 230 volts. The next parameter, 803, sets the current of the motor. Again, pressing the E key will enter the menu and set the value. Press E to save. Parameter 805 is used to set the maximum speed from the motor nameplate and parameter 810 is used to set the motor rate of frequency. These few basic settings are all that is required. It is now possible to apply the run signal and the drive will run at the speed set by the potentiometer that has been wired into the drive. If I press the stop, the motor will run to standstill. The inverter will save its own parameters on the power down, so it can now be safely switched off. This has been an example of a basic speed control application. The AC10 inverter is fully configurable. For details on more advanced configurations using the DSC Live software, please see our separate video.